Hi everybody, it's Janie from Jaylin. Um, today what I'm doing is I'm working with my Tubi Tubes and they are available on Etsy. What I wanted to show you today is what I'm doing for my outside lights. Uh, they're going to be decorative outside lights. So what I did is I got um, just plain old Christmas lights. I'm sure you guys know these kind of Christmas lights. See these? Okay. So anyways, I took them all off. It's a 75 set um, with all, you know, 75 bulbs. So I took all these off and what I'm doing is I'm making these out of them. And then this, as you can see right here, clips right onto the bulb. And it is the easiest thing to make. These are just tubi tubes are cut. So they'll hang like this. Oh, they're so pretty. But it's a very easy process. I'm going to show you how to do it. They take 10 or 11 of these cut tubi tubes. These are the large size. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So what you do is you take your one of these. Okay? All right. I'm going to move that aside so you don't because you don't need to see that. All right. And the next thing you need to do is get your tubi tube. I cut each tube. Um, this is a tube right here. See it? Okay. I cut these in four. And I got my mom cutting them for me right now. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so I take these and I cut it in two and then cut it in, in half again. So I get four out of each one. We've got to give this back to, to Grandma. All right. And then what you do is you push these down on the edges. Just the edges. That's all. So that's what I'm doing. I'm pushing the edges down. And I'll do a whole bunch of them so you can see what I'm doing. I don't know how many I need. Sometimes I need 10. Sometimes I need 11. I'm not sure. It depends on how close I get them together on the light. All right. Okay. Now, what you do is you take your light, and you got to go below this area. See that area right there? you got to go where the bulb starts. Because if you go up here, then you're not going to be able to put these back into their socket. See where their socket is right there up here? All right. So you need to be able to go right about here. All right. So I'm going to start just hot gluing. All right. And this is the flat side. So you're going to put the flat side down. And another one. Another flat side down. Okay. This is a great project, uh, especially for the summer. I've been checking out lights because um, we're working on our back. We're screening in our patio this year. And I'm going to try to make it like an outdoor living room. And in order to do that, of course, you need lights. Um, okay, let's see. And I just didn't want to pay the money. It's like $50 for a set, and that's just not what I want to do. And these are old Christmas lights, and you can do so much with old Christmas lights because for some reason they seem to grow. Don't they, Grandma? I agree. All right, see, I got four on so far. And you can see they're just being glued to the outside. All right. Put more glue. They really don't take that long. It's just, you know, a matter of having a little bit of patience, which my mom doesn't have any patience. <laughs> you got that right. She said that she would throw these away. I said, you don't throw these away. You could do something with them. Said, yeah, put them in a trash can. That's right. <laughs> she's not on camera right now because uh, she doesn't agree with me, but I have her. And she's my labor today. She's my Sue Crafter. You're my Sue Crafter, Mom? Yeah, that's what I am. I got a title. Okay, you got a title. Don't pay much. No, uh-uh. You get free coffee. Oh, yeah, that's right. I get free yeah, coffee. Yeah, she gets free coffee. Okay, I got two more to do. And then I'll show you what it looks like and then what, what we're going to do. See, I'm still going all the way around. Okay, you can see. See? It's all the way around. Oh, if somebody could invent glue glue sticks that don't have these strings, oh, I'd pay a million dollars for a stick. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> I hate these stupid things. They're all over the house. Okay, so now, you see. All right. It's all the way around, okay? Now, I haven't cut these, all right? So they're they're un, you know, they're they're not equal. Ma, can I have my scissors for a second? Mhm. Mm Thank you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these. I, I kind of go to the smallest one, and I'm going to cut and make sure that they're all about, you know, equal size. It's not going to be perfect, 
Like I always say with all my videos, nothing's ever perfect. It's crafting. Not like you with your uh, baking, Ma. Yeah. Baking's perfect, right? Oh, boy. I really cut this one small. Okay, but... See how small I cut that one? Yeah. I cut it it's way too small. Pretty. Yeah, it's still cute. It's it's Aww. just, it's smaller. Okay, but you know what? I just wanted to show you. you got to cut those all the way around. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to, I'm going to edge this. All right, and how you edge it is you get an, another tubey tube. All right, here we go. You can see this is the round part, and then I'm just flattening it all the way around. I'm going to flatten it. All right, then you're going to glue this this edge all the way around, okay? Because that way you won't see any of these little, see these little things right here? See? You're doing with the scissors. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, it's right okay. now. I'm gonna need them back though. Okay, all right, so we're gonna start to glue this. Okay, you can glue it so that it's, it's kind of making an edge on it. That's what you need to do. These are so much fun to work with. Hmm. Be quiet over there in the peanut gallery, please. I'm trying to make a video over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to be asking for those scissors back. I know people are probably saying, don't you have two pairs of scissors? I do, but I'm too lazy to get up and go get another pair. And she likes that pair. Okay, Grandma, let me have my scissors back. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. I call her, everybody calls her grandma, but it's my mom. Okay, here, I can have back. All right. More glue. All right. You're just gonna finish it off. See? You finished it off right here. And see, there's that trim right there. All the way around. Isn't that kind of cool? And your light's inside. And then, you know, like I said, you got to cut this off. Where do I have one? I have one somewhere. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, this is the one that I cut off, and it's the right size. And you can see there's the bulb inside there. And it is so cool. So you can see all these are going to be together. They're going to look so pretty. You could actually, boy, Mom, look at that. If you want to do one, like, oh, one's yeah. lower and one's higher, it would be kind of cool. But that's what they look like. These are made from tubey tubes and your old Christmas lights. You can revamp them and really make them look good for uh, for the summer. I mean, it's 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 an easy project. I'm sitting at the kitchen table with my dearest mom, Aww. and she's going to be reading her book after she's done with her labor work, her labor <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and that's it. I just wanted to show you what to make with these tubey tubes. I'll be making more videos too uh, with tubey tubes because they're so cool. I, I'm just making everything with them if, if I can, and um, that's it. And they'll they'll stay really well because um, they're low watt bulbs. I have a 75 count string, and like I said, these are gonna get attached back onto the lights, and then you're gonna see them hanging all over the back porch. So that video will come up soon because I'm gonna be doing a before and after for my outside living room, and um, that's it. Okay, everybody, have a wonderful day, have a blessed day, and thanks for watching, bye.